Number 16, 1959, the Roosevelt Diamond MS-68 condition was full torch designation. These breathtakingly beautiful superb gem exhibits multicolored target toning on the obverse, reverse with mottled copper rusted patina that's most extensive over the upper half of the surface, according to Stax Powers. Frosty and silky smooth, both sides are virtually pristine. To define this coin as one of the finest certified survivors from a mintage of 164,919,790 pieces, this one was sold for $1,320. Number 15, here is 1951, the Jefferson Nickel, graded in mint state 67 by PCGS. Apart from its superb gem grade, what makes this 5 cent piece valuable is its full steps designation, indicating fully struck Monticello steps on the reverse. Nice preservation and superb eye appeal, it ended up selling for $1,260 on September 17, 2023. Number 14, moving on with his amber russet taunt, 1948 S dime in mint state 68, PCGS assigned full bands designation. As I mentioned many times in my earlier videos, the term full bands in numismatics refers to a specific condition or grade of a dime coin, particularly in Roosevelt Dime series, first minted in 1946. This term pertains to the design elements on the reverse of the coin. To qualify as a having full bands or full torch, the dime must exhibit well-defined and fully separated horizontal bands on the faces. F.B. Roosevelt dime ended up selling for $1,620 on September 17, 2023. Number 13, here is 1912 Lincoln Cent Proof in PR66 brown condition. According to NGC, this matte grain of 1912 proofs typically is deeper than for other dates, 1909-1916, and this issue is also notable for its uniformly bold strike. While these conditions make for a wonderful illustration of the design, they have also tended to limit the number of fully red survivors. An odd feature of copper and bronze coins is that most fully struck pieces are also the ones most susceptible to toning. This wheat penny ended up selling for $2760 on September 17, 2023. Number 12, moving on with his 1966 Kenny Duff dollar in MS67 condition. All 1966 half dollars made for circulation were coined at the Denver Mint, occupied with 1965 dated pieces through July. It was not until August 1st, 1966, that Denver switched over to coinage of the current year. This odd situation resulted from the Treasury Department's determination to make enough 1965 dated coins to discourage hoarding of that date. Since most of 1965 had been occupied striking 1964 dated coinage, the commencement of 1966 dated pieces were deferred until the final months of that year. All of these deceptions resulted from the real shortage of circulating coins that appeared in 1963 and even greater shortage the government feared will occur when the public began to hoard the old silver issues because quantity prevailed over quality for many years these coins were not cared for making gems rather scarce above the grade of ms65 these nicely toned specimen in ms67 condition ended up selling for two thousand and forty dollars number 11 here is 1913 d buffalo nickel and mint state 67 type 1 variety according to david hall the 1913D Type 1 Buffalo is much rarer than 1913 Philadelphia. It's about 5 to 10 times rarer in mint state and probably 20 times rare in circulated grades. Still, 1913D Type is one of the more available early date buffaloes. This is generally a well struck issue. Luster typically ranges from dull to bright satiny. This specimen was sold for $2,400. Number 10, this is 1914D Lincoln Cent in MS63 red condition. According to Heritage, the 1914D is a popular key date cent whose notoriety is known far beyond the Lincoln series. 
Only 1.19 million pieces were struck and full weight coins are seldom seen. The color on this coin is lighter in hue and brighter than the usual encountered 1914D. Unfortunately, the surfaces are dotted and dashed with a few carbon spots and trace of fingerprints which accounts for the MS-63 grade. Sharply struck as usual, it was sold for $3,240. Number 9 is this 1936 Lincoln Cent MPR 66 condition, CAC approved gem with brilliant finish. A glimmer red example of the second proof finish produced on Lincoln Cents in 1936. The copper orange surfaces show no overt blemishes. And the strike is sharp. As usual for the issue, there is little cameo contrast. CAC endorsement affirms the high quality for the great. It was sold for $3,360. Number 8. This is 1946 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. This lovely super gem has pristine surfaces and bold strike with full steps to the porch of Monticello. The frosty surfaces exhibit brilliant light gray luster with glass required to see the minimal, great consistent marks. It was sold for $6,300. Number 7 here is 1990 OS Lincoln Sand, a popular modern error penny. Graded as pure 69 red deep cameo by PCGS. The S mint mark was inadvertently left off the die used to strike about 100 150 proof Lincoln Sands in 1990, creating this popular guidebook and cherry pickers variety. This spectacular PR69 example displays full definition on all design elements and deeply mirrored fields contrast profoundly with the frosty devices. The original red surfaces are one tick away from technical perfection. It was sold for $4,680 on September 15, 2023. Number 6. Next. 1963D Jefferson Nickel in MS65 condition with full steps, a reflective gem with exceptional eye appeal on both design types. Both sides have light gold toning with slightly reflective fields. This is another full steps example that is rarely seen with a ratio of 1 to 3000 according to Bowers. Number 5. Moving on with this error dollar, 1972S, silver arc dollar struck twice of center, great as proof 67 cameo by NGC. The first strike was approximately 40% of center, 12 o'clock. The second strike is about 35% of center toward 1 o'clock. The date and the mint mark from the second strike are bold. The date and the mint mark from the first strike are faint but visible due to north of their second strike impression. Most of dollar ICA and ERTY are absent, colorfully toned apple green, cream gray, and autumn brown, a dramatic error on a brown eye proof 40% silver Eisenhower dollar, which was sold for $7,800. Number 4. Here is 1944 Washington quarter in MS68 condition. The importance of this piece to the registry collector is unsurpassed. Each side displays bold strike sharpness and vibrant satin luster, with faintest tinge of delicate champagne toning. A largely flawless coin deserving of the registry set, it ended up selling for $10,800. Number 3, this is 1943 Jefferson Nickel in PR68 condition. This amazing coin has exceptional polychrome toning, especially vibrant on the obverse. The devices are sharply rendered and the pristine, and the pristine fields are deeply mirrored throughout. Overall eye appeal is incredible, from a meager proof mintage of only 14,158 pieces. It was sold for $12,925. Number 2 here is 1942 S. Lincoln Sentinel 6-8 red condition. This is a marvelous, pristine, full red example of the 1942S Lincoln scent showing a bold strike and glistening copper orange luster. No spots mar the eye appeal. Only a handful of 1942S scents are certified this fine, and no higher grade pieces are known. It was sold 
on September 15, 2023 for $12,000. Number one, and this is famous 1922 No D Lincoln Sand, graded as MS64 Red and Brown by PCGS, an outstanding choice on circulated survivor of this popular and conditionally challenging 1922 No D Sand. The verse is typically soft and strike, although all major design elements are, are fully appreciable in the absence of wear. Sharply defined throughout the reverse, with ample pinkish roy luster on both sides. Minimally toned, this premium quality example is more red than brown and would serve as a highlight in the finest Lincoln scent or variety collection. It was sold for $63,000. That's all for today. If you have any questions or you want to share your own numismatic discoveries, please feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, keep your eyes peeled for those hidden treasures in your coin collection because you never know when you might stumble upon the next big find. God's will, until the next time.